guys, it's Carly back with another video, and today I got some more pickups, of course. So, these first three games are Nintendo 3DS games. I got four. Two for 15 and one for 10. So, this is Pokemon X. I'm actually excited to play this one because I, I like how they actually brought back the older Pokemon in this one and don't have just all new ones. So, I'm excited to play this one. I'm probably gonna sell my Pokemon White one and just play this one since it has the older Pokemon that I actually identify with or whatever. The next game is Metal Gear Solid 3D Snake Eater for the 3DS. So this is a good good way for me to try the Metal Gear games and not have to get it for PlayStation 2. I can just play it on here. So look forward to trying that one. That one was ten dollars. And this one was fifteen and it's still sealed is Final Fantasy Explorers. And I got all these from eBay, by the way. In a lot. Alright, the next three games are from GameStop. And they were buy two, get one free. I got Perfect Dark Zero in the steel case for $4.49. There's the front of it and the back of it. I heard this game wasn't that great, but it comes complete with the manual, but no extra disc. So I'm probably just going to take this thing out and then stick it in this one. But to me, like for the steel case stuff, I don't really care about the bonus stuff. I just care about the case. I like collecting the steel cases. They're cool to me. So that was $4.49. Then I got the Saboteur. Looking forward to trying this. I heard it was really good. It's complete. It was $4.49 as well. And GameStop got new stickers, guys. They're way easier to come off. So that's good. And then the last one I got, which was free, is 99 Nights. Complete with manual. This is an exclusive, so had to pick it up, of course. And then these next three things are from Game Flip. The first thing is Luigi's Mansion for $28. Free shipping, which is not very cheap, but I wanted this game so bad, so I went ahead and got it. Complete with manual. Been playing it, it's fun. He cracks me up when he's looking for Mario and he's like, Mario! me up. And then these next two games I got for two dollars each plus shipping so three fifty. I got Universe at War, Earth Assault, complete with manual. I never heard of this game. I literally just got these games because they were twenty dollars I mean two dollars so then I got Supreme Commander 2. I actually heard this one is pretty fun and it is complete with manual as well. Okay, and then the next thing I got off eBay, I have to go get it, so hold on one second. The next thing I got was a pickup on eBay. I'm surprised I got it for as much as I did. I guess nobody is in the market for GameCubes right now, but I got a GameCube with the Game Boy Player, no disc, but I will get it eventually. And Pokemon Coliseum. This is pre scratched, but it does work. I just need to get it resurfaced at Game Exchange. Because sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. And a controller. All for $16 plus $7 shipping, I think. So that's like $23. So I'm super pumped about it. It works. I finally got a GameCube that works now um, with Pokemon Coliseum. So that was cool. It's not complete, it's just a disc, but still cool to have. So I finally got a. Yankee that works. Like I said, I'm going to try to get the Game Boy Player disc so I can do that. Uh, eventually, I would like to get the Game Boy Player disc and an Elgato or something so I can like game capture all my console like gameplay for it because I would like to do um, more. I know I did a video on recent games I played and my thoughts on them for uh, the summer, last summer. I'd like to do that again. Like do one for the summer and then one for the year during the year that's not summer. 
and um, do reviews on them, like short reviews and show gameplay and stuff. I would like to do that, so I'm hoping to get Elgato or something in the future. If y'all know of any good game capture devices that you can capture older consoles and the newer ones for a good deal, let me know in the comments because that's not really my area of expertise. I'm used to doing everything on a computer and recording gameplay off my computer, so recording gameplay on consoles is new to me. So let me know if you have any tips for that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace, happy gaming.